इन आसाम लैंड ग्रेविंग एंड एनक्रोसमेंट इज ए वेरी बिग इश्यू यू कैन एप्रिशिएट दैट व्वेन पीपुल कम टू गवर्नमेंट लैंड फर वान अब देयर लाइवलीहुड एंड एग्रिकल्चारेल नीड बट लैंड एनक्रोसमेंट हेज बीन यूज एज ए पलिटिकल टुल टू डिप्राइव द लोकल इंडिजेनास पीपुल फ्रम देयर लैंड राइट्स from their political rights these people have either originated from the state of bangladesh or they have originated from different revenue circles of assam on those revenue circles there are surplus land they could have get themselves engaged in those land but we have a matobar system they have captured acres after acres land unofficially and they push these people in various parts of the state to grab land so this sipajar dholpur is also a classic example where people from lower assam 300 kilometers away they have come one by one and they started grabbing land there are a matobori system and under that matobor people grab land it is not that who grab the land you have seen in video they are actually owners there are a invisible there is a invisible owners under whom these people work and gradually they enlisted their names in new assembly constituency putting or making assamese people a kind of minority so this is a huge modus operandi it is going on uh, for one, two three decades as of now these people are concentrating in three assembly constituency of assam sipajar Lamding and Borshala, they are encroaching forest land. They are encroaching surplus government land. They are coming overnight. Hundreds, thousands people come. They capture land under patronage of some matobors. After two, three years, they enlisted their name in voter list, thereby making Assamese indigenous people minority in that constituency. So this is what going on, left, unfortunately or deliberately. they are part of this design and even our local muslim people even our desi muslim people they do not endorse this kind of things and that is why you have seen even against the pfi only muslim people has lost complaint in in uh, particularly coming to 1994 when eviction was ordered subsequently it was found that most of the people who have encroached this land in godukuti fail to prove their identity and erosion certificates as it is required as of now they don't have they do not have erosion certificate more so when nrc exercise was conducted 6000 people out of 10000 could not establish their identity only 4000 could produce some kind of identity and they are not landless in their original place If you go and take interview, everybody will say that they have come from Borpeta and Dhubri district, and they are also there are so much land is available, but it it is being captured by so-called matobors. So this is a very very complex issue, very very deliberate issue, because of pressure from left liberals, people could not take on those things. but today people of assam has gathered enough courage to take on this uh, uh, to take on against those conspiracy and they have bless us they have bless us to go ahead with this exercise of evicting people uh, my last question what will be the action plan of the assam government you will see assam government do not speak assam government take actions